So trying to keep the cooler in the back so we don't need to have any rack on the back of the trailer. We need to put a brace behind the cooler to level out our camp bed. So let's see what we do next. So now for us, a new one. Modifying the back of the Jeep for easy, cold, quick camp. Not sure what we're gonna end up with, but we're gonna figure it out. So first bar will be right behind the cooler so we can still access the cooler from the back when we quick camp. Always having to make adjustments. See what fits best. It is started. Easy. Next step tomorrow. Let's just walk around and look at it. Okay, second part. So this here, we're going to hinge onto, there's a two by four underneath, we're gonna hinge it so we can go up and down with it as needed to get into the cooler. Now, it. It, we built supports here to sit on the cooler so we didn't have to worry about it laying on the plastic or anything like that. It's actually pretty convenient. Once it's hinged, we cut this plywood so this whole thing goes all the way up. And then we'll figure out a way to hold it up in place as we need to. Now if you go over to the back seat, we're trying to make a modular system. So this front portion of plywood is going to be removable so when we're not traveling if we're just doing our regular day-to-day -day, this front piece will come out and the back piece can stay where it's at and the seats still can go up and be in their normal spots so that works beautifully now our next step here is to cut cut the legs and figure out the support system for this so we can climb onto it because again we're going to use this to Sleep, sleep every now and then if we need to, <laughs> the if it's really windy or if we're in a hurry and we're just crashing real quick, because we hate sleeping in the front seats. It's just, it just sucks. I know a lot of you have done it and just slept in your front seats at a rest stop or whatever, and it's just uncomfortable, and we're too old for that. So that's where this comes in. So once this is done, we're gonna carpet, we're gonna cover everything with an outdoor carpet to make it a little nicer looking. And then underneath, this is gonna be all storage as well. So it works out pretty good. And then on the trips where we take both Jeeps, um, we'll, we will take this out and leave it out. And that way we can put a dog or two in here. They'll have plenty of room to just hang out. And then we get the back shelf for- Additional storage. Additional storage, better organization. It's gonna be great. Uh, we already have a piece of plywood to go into this gap so dogs don't break their legs on the road. We've already had that for both Jeeps. We've had that for a long time. But anyway, you, you get the gist of it and stay tuned for more as we finish. Now that we are two thirds done, yeah, two putting thirds. on our hinges, 
for our oven. If you can hear me talking while he's drilling. <laughs> So this, we'll explain in a second. The headrest. Yeah, it's where pillows go. Pillows. We did the indoor outdoor over particle board or plywood. So this is the front portion of our bed. So this the back seat. So our front seats essentially ride right here when we're on the road. And when we park, if we decide we want to sleep on this, like in a rest stop or just quick take a nap, whatever, we scoots the seats forward and then tilt them up, and then this rolls over to extend the bed length so we fit on it properly. So our pillows go here and 